Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with the today's problem of the day uh, on the GFG platform. So today is a very standard question again that is asked, uh, that, that the name of the question is check for the children's sum property in a binary tree. Let us see in which company tax into it, okay. But it's a very standard question, a good question. So binary tree, when we read question, we always see it. So let us see. So we have been given a binary tree of end nodes, check whether all of its nodes have the equal value of their child nodes. Return 1 if all nodes in the tree satisfy the given properties else 0. Kunula ke baat jitni hai ki for every root node, right? Or let's say for every node you need to check its children. If that children sum equals to its parent, then definitely you have uh, you have to return true. But this should this should happen for all the nodes there. So 35, you can see the children sum is also 35, so good to go. For this 20, I can see the children sum is again 20, so it is again good to go. And for 15, I can see the children sum is also 15. But for the leaf child, there are no children, right? So for the leaf child, we'll assume that <coughs> it follows the children sum property. करेक्ट ठीक है यार तो एक तुरंत से इसका ड्राई रन देखते हैं अपन सो डेफिनेटली वी हैव टू वी हैव टू मेक अ रिकर्सिव कॉल फॉर रूट फॉर रूट एंड इट्स चाइल्ड राइट वी नीड टू चेक द वी नीड टू हैव अ सम वेरिएबल राइट व्हिच विल स्टोर द लेफ्ट डॉट डेटा प्लस राइट डॉट डेटा राइट एंड वी विल मूव रिकर्सिवली इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन राइट सो लेट अस कंप्लीट दिस सुडो कोड so let us take the given example. The example given to us were 35, then we have 20, we have 15. For 20, we have 15, it's 5, 15 for 10 and 5, right? So I have written two base cases. I, I think it should be pretty clear. So when I said for the leaf child, there are no children, right? So in that case, we are always assuming that it is a it is following the sum property. So that's the case. Whenever we are in, encountering a leaf node, in that case, we just said there is no problem, return true. Whenever you are encountering a null node, right? In that case, also we need to say return, and then we have to recursively. You'll have a let's say sum variable initially equals to zero, right? And we need to store the sum of our left child and right child. Okay, what happened? Hmm. So let us start making the recursive call. So when I'm this point, I can clearly see that the sum of its children is 35, right? So I will say that this current node is returning a value true, but I need to check for the left and right children as well, right? So I will just sum equals to zero and I will add that if left is not equals to null right and similarly if right is not equals to null then you take this you take those data sum plus equals to left dot data right and similarly sum plus equals to right dot data correct so when I'm this 35 what I will see that 35 is equals to 20 plus 15 that is that is there right so I will return what I will return for my current node, I need to return first of all. So I will say return my current sum is equals equals to root dot data. If that is the case, then we are good to go for this current node. Recursively call for uh, recursively call for its left and right. So uh, child sum is the function name. Just for I'm writing fun here, because it's small. I'm going to write it. So I will write root dot left, and it should return true from the right subtree as well, right? So I will say root dot right i hope that is visible or, or if not let me just scroll it through yep let us do a very quick dry run so on the 35 i will say i, I will say return true and two values need it need to come from left and right hand side right so i'll come down i'll come down to my left recursive call and i will say again for 20 i can see the sum is 15 and 5 right so again true and there are two more values that will be coming from its left and right children of the 20 right Again, so from 20, I'll go to 15 since this is null, so I will return true. And I'll, from 20, I'll go to 5. Again, since uh, it's a leaf node, I'll return true. Similar with the case of 15 or for, for all the leaf nodes we can say, right? Now, the values which we have got from the left and right of 20 is true and true. So overall, it will return here from true, right? So for this 35, the left, the left call is returning true, so I'll place it here. I'll have to finish the right call again. So for 35, again, the, all the left call has been finished. If 20 pre-process ho gaya, then again the call will go back to its parent. that is 35. 35 will call 15 and again it will return three values, right? Uh, it will return upon checking three values, so true and so these two values will be filled by the left and right call of this 15. So definitely I'll go to left and I will say it's it's a leaf node, so I will say true. So this true would be here. I'll go to right again, it's a leaf node, I will say true. So overall true and true and true will return us the value as true. And this value would be placed here. And finally, we can clearly see 
that the overall value the 35 or the root node will return will be final as true and that is it we'll be handling that all the cases here in this pseudo code by these uh, uh, lines of code right हम एक छोटे टेस्ट के लिए और देख लेते हैं जहां पे ये चीज काम नहीं करेगी और सेकंड टेस्ट केस हमारा क्या दे रखा है 1 4 1 एंड देन वी हैव 5 राइट सो हाउ द रिकर्सिव कॉल इज टेकिंग प्लेस हियर इज सो फॉर दिस वन व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज दैट आई हैव टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेक माय चिल्ड्रन नोट दैट इज 4 प्लस 1 5 नॉट इक्वल्स टू माय सो अगेन इटसेल्फ द फर्स्ट एंट्री एंट्री इटसेल्फ इज 5 फॉल्स राइट सो ऑल्दो बाकी दो एंट्रीज ट्रू हो या ना हो हमें फॉल्स ही रिटर्न करना होगा आंसर बट स्टिल हाउ द रिकर्सिव कॉल विल प्ले मैं आपको दिखा देता हूँ वन से फोर पे जाएंगे फोर क्या करेगा ये अपनी तीन एंट्रीज बनाएगा फॉल्स एंड टू कॉल्स विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम इट्स लेफ्ट एंड राइट हैंड साइड सो आई गो अगेन टू लेफ्ट सो दिस विल रिटर्न ट्रू आई विल प्लेस ट्रू हियर आई गो टू राइट एंड दिस इज नल राइट सो आई अगेन प्लेस ट्रू हियर एंड सो दिस विल बी फॉल्स एंड ट्रू एंड ट्रू विल रिटर्न फॉल्स राइट सो फॉर द वन द लेफ्ट कॉल रिटर्न फॉल्स let us pre-process the uh, right hand side and let us paste this false here so f and f this last entry would be coming from the right hand side of our recursive call so one and one now this is a leaf node right so this should return true now false false and true will definitely return you a false and that is how the things are taking place so your recursion tree bananas over your type show days kill it test case kill it i hope uh, the things are pretty clear to you and now let, let's resume back to our code editor so that's the helper function which we have dry run in our one note uh, let's say the paint board that is it yeah let us hit the submit button while it is submitting let us analyze the time complexity so what's happening in our dry run let us look at the dry run again so we are visiting each and every node here right so you can say we are visiting each and every node how many times o of n let's say we are visiting each and every node and what is the space complexity it would be height of 3 since we are taking a recursion call okay what else yeah that's it yeah the summit hogya code uh, if you like the video problem intuition everything do like share and subscribe support our community and please uh, like share and subscribe yeah uh, it will help me as well so uh, previously i checked i think the subscriber count was on 4999 so 5000 ki apni youtube family so shukriya sabhi log care and uh videos dekhne aur samajhne aur इतना प्यार देने के लिए तब तक के लिए कीप लर्निंग कीप गोइंग बाय बाय एंड टेक केयर लेट्स मीट अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय